Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm honoured to rise in the House today to recognize the sacrifice that our Canadian and Saskatchewan veterans made during the Battle of the Atlantic. Ranging from 1935, or 1939 to 1945, this was the longest continuous battle of the Second World War. Canada played a key role in the battle as Allied forces valiantly fought to keep crucial supply lines to Europe open during the war. More than 70,000 Allied seamen, merchant mariners and airmen lost their lives during the battle, including some 4,600 Canadians. Many of those that died were lost to the sea. With no grave site <clears throat> to mark their sacrifice. Their, Valerie, their valor and bravery were a crucial contribution to the ultimate victory of the Allied forces. Mr. Speaker, to pay tribute to these heroes, a Battle of the Atlantic Memorial Service was held on Sunday, hosted by the HMCS Queen here in Regina. Among the many dignitaries attending was the Lieutenant Governor, the Honourable W. Thomas Malloy, and the Director General, Maritime Equipment Program Management Captain Christopher Earl. Mr. Speaker, at the service, the name of each ship that was lost was read aloud and a bell was rang, symbolizing the end of that cruise watch. While the sailors' watch has ended, their sacrifice will never be forgotten. We will remember them. Thank you. Thank you.